What's glowing down here? Why is it so Oh, that's where the stone thing is. Let's do that last. Aha! Is that the last of the stuff and the whatnot in here? Or is there more? Is there more? I don't know, because I can't go anywhere there. All right, let's do this. Let's do the bow did he bow Look up, down, all around. Huh, get it! Huh. I don't even know what that is. Way forward? Oh gosh, what's happening? Am I hearing it from way over here? Crickety crack. Now I gotta get out of here. Get out of here. What are you doing? Hey, there's another one. I bet there's something behind a lot of these stones. Where did I come from? That's where I was. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Nobody... No. Oh, jeez. Tree just appeared. Anything behind here? That's a pink tree. Very pink. That's a bush. Okay, nothing appears to be around here. I don't like that it still has a big beam of light, even though you've done the thing. Because then it's kind of like you, the, there's still a thing there, but there isn't. So now I'm guessing I go to this other area where I hear a lot of storytelling and then it just fades off into the next area. I don't think this game is very long, and I don't know who... I can't think of who made it, and I don't know if it's by a studio that's made other things before. But I wonder if it's just kind of a first thing for someone. So if this does okay, then they'll go on to do bigger, better things. Actually, while I'm running all this way, I can look it up. What the heck? I don't need... Hey, you're trying to search for something? How about a pop-up get in the way? Don't. I can't do it. See, now I'm running out of time here. Publisher David something. John. Well, where's the developers or Doe Games? Well, it looks like it's probably the first game for this guy. Well, there's a thing on each side. And are you serious? You gotta like hop up the vine to get it? Oh, there's one in there too. Ah! Uh, uh -huh hey. Oops. Oh, I guess I didn't really have to hop up the vines. Is that a. The perpetrator stood nearby, unfazed. Like nothing was wrong. My dad is dead. And he's never coming back, Rachel. I can tell you these stories, but I can never reminisce with him again. He can never hold a grandchild that we'll probably never be able to have. I can never talk to him again, and I'll never be able to say I'm sorry. For everything. Okay, I thought there were three. Hey, you get back here. 
Oh, so somebody killed your dad or something? What's going on here? Oh, good. Let's just hop. I'm gonna be mad if I miss one of these. Uh-oh. Aha! What the heck? Oh, there we go. That's what I thought. We're at 90. That sounds like a planned number. Dude, am I seriously gonna run like all the way down there? Whew. What if I just like that? Oh. So there's nothing hiding to the sides. Just wanna make sure. It's just you running and running and running and running. All the way down the mountain. Down a lava flow or something. Maybe not. The perpetrator. Seriously, wow. You have to run down the entire thing. down here. So I know this game isn't that long, but I think from what I've looked up on the times, I'm not even halfway through it. Or was this one only? Well, I don't remember. There's another memory thing. A whole lot of running. Not much else. Just keep looking back and forth. I don't want to miss any of those gem things. I got 90 so far. That sounds like a decent number. If it was an odd number, then I would have thought I missed something. Good night, buddy. I'm still in your head. You gotta tell me what's going on here. You got all this stuff popping in. I hope nothing's up here. So I just ran down that entire thing. That is crazy. You're gonna have me run down an entire mountain, and then you're just gonna say, I can't talk about this, I'm gonna go to bed. Well, you wake up, bucko! Because now it's just kind of... very nature-y. Oh, oh, here we go, well, here we go! Next area. Oh. Okay. That right there could make a really good thumbnail. Joseph, you can't go to sleep feeling like this. I'm sorry for everything, and I know you need space, but the... I'm here for you. Where'd it go? You don't need to feel so lost. Joseph? Have I ever told you what my mother was like? Patronum!
Oh, it's not, is it? Oh, come on. This is straight up Harry Potter right here. Come on, Harry. What? I guess you're not the point. This is. You know what it's like not to have a mom at home. And you know how hard that made my childhood. What helped me was watching the birds in the morning before the school bus came. <laughs> I thought that my mother uh, was one of those birds. And it made me want to be free like her. My mom taught me how to fold origami cranes while she was in the hospital. So I told myself I would fold one every day until I could fly myself. I'm guessing that's what that was. It wasn't plants, it was origami I think cranes. We both have always loved animals. And for me, that love started with a dog. Sometimes this Rottweiler would come up to our property line and wait at the fence for me, but only once in a while. I, I was sure that. to check every day immediately after school, and it usually ended in disappointment. I would even steal money from my passed out dad just so I could buy these off-brand dog biscuits. Even when she did stop by, she never went beyond the fence. Yep. Why was she so scared? I thought it was something weird. I actually have one made out of kind of foil paper hanging almost above my head. Back when my computer was in this little built-in desk area we have at the house, it was directly above my head. Aha, see? Your shiny light is on that side because I'm supposed to be coming from that way. I think my dad was the opposite of your dad in almost every way. Except he was in the military as well. That he way? He coped with alcohol of every kind. The trailer started falling apart, he got angry, and... I withdrew. More and more I became the weird quiet kid who made lots of origami birds and carried talk biscuits around. I think we were pretty similar when it came to being the weird kids. And that same sincerity in college was one of the reasons I was so drawn to you. Life got worse and worse. And at one point, I really didn't think I could survive another day with my soul still intact. I had no real friends, let alone neighbors, since we lived in the middle of nowhere. I should have talked to my teacher, but I was scared what he would do if he found out. As I waited for the school bus one morning, I walked around until I found something in an abandoned shed. Something I can't put into words. Except you keep talking. <laughs> I summoned courage I didn't know I had and I broke into my dad's room and found the key to the shed where he had locked my bike I'll never forget that feeling of the wind rushing by my ears as the sun rose over fields of wheat I was flying for the first time I biked as far as my legs could take me until I found a house that felt friendly and that felt like home those strangers helped me in so many ways. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have found my foster family. And if it wasn't for my parents, I wouldn't have met you. What? Hey. Now are we just running away here? Oh. You have strength, Joseph. And you're not as alone as you think. It's all just so pointless. Just waiting for life to happen. It's like having the home I always wanted is cursed out of my reach. The thought of being a parent myself. How could I do that when I couldn't even be a good son? I'm sorry. I know what you're saying. I just don't know how things will work out. These quiet hours will turn into years. We'll wonder which roads passed us by. Then we'll forge a new road together. 